Good day. Today I'm going to show you how to deal with simultaneous equations in patterns from all levels. Let's say it is given that the fifth term of an arithmetic sequence is 12 and the third term of an arithmetic sequence is 8. So this is all they gave you. They just told you that T3 is equal to 8 and T5 is equal to 12. So what do you do with this information? What you do is, um, of course, the general term is Tn equals to A plus N minus 1D. So this is the general term. So what you do is you substitute this information into the, uh, the equation. So we'll do that. So we know that T5 is 12. So I'm going to substitute 12 is equals to A plus our N is 5 because it was T5 was given. That is our fifth term. So they will say the third term is, is, is of an arithmetic sequence is 8 and the fifth term is 12. That's how they can put it in sentences. Then you just translate it into this. So then we're going to have 5 minus 1 then we don't know our common difference so then this becomes 12 is equals to a plus 5 minus 1 is 4 so we're going to have 4d so then we have our first equation so we have two unknowns how do we solve two unknowns we need two equations so how do we create another equation by using the second information so we're told that the third term is equals to 8 so we're going to say 8 is equals to a plus our n which is 3 minus 1 d so then we're going to have 8 is equals to a plus 3 minus 1 is 2 so 2 d and then um this is our second equation so let me create my equation 3 by making this the subject of the formula so you're just using the scale of simultaneous equations so when i take this to the other side i will end up having 8 minus 2 d is equals to a so that's my equation 3 so i'm going to use the substitution method so then I'm going to say substitute equation 3 into equation 1, the one that was not manipulated. So it means wherever I see A, I'm going to replace it with this stuff. So let me do that in equation 1. So it's 12 equals 2. Instead of me writing A, now I write A minus 2D. And then um, plus 4D. So then I will have to solve. So let me just solve it on the top. So when we take, um, okay, minus 2 plus 4 is positive 2. So we're going to have 2D. And then when I take this to the other side, I'm going to have 12 minus 8. 12 minus 8, let me just do it step by step to avoid all confusions. So 12 minus 8, which is 4, so I'll have 4 is equals to 2D. When I divide both sides by 2, I will have 2 is equals to D. So I'll find my D. How do I find my A? By substituting into any one of the three equations. But usually the easiest to substitute it in is the third equation. So I'm going to say A is equals to 8 minus 2 times. So our D we figured it out to be 2. So it means our A is equals to uh, 8 minus 2 times 2, which is uh, 2 times that. So then I'm going to have 8 minus 4. Then it's going to give me... 4. So my a is equal to 4. So I found it, right? So I found my a to be 4 and my d to be 2. So now, just before I continue, if you want to be tutored either online or physically, online it doesn't matter where you are or which country you are at, you can still be tutored. So we offer cheap online lessons. And if you want to be tutored physically, we can still make an arrangement so call or whatsapp this number but preferably please whatsapp uh, this number and then we will take it from there so what i do is that i tutor people uh, five days a week online and i give tests once a week so that i can check your improvements now i can find the common difference i mean the equation of the uh, the general formula of the pattern so let's substitute. So let me come back to this step. So now I found out that my A was 4 and my D was 2. So let's continue. So we're going to have Tn is equals to, okay, this is a plus. This is actually a common mistake of most students. They, they might forget to put multi, uh, plus and make it multiplication. So it's actually a plus. So uh, we're going to have 4 plus, so 2 times n is 2n, 2 times minus 1 is minus 2. Then our tn is going to be equals to 4, um, okay, not 4, this is going to be 2, then this 4 minus 2, which is 2. So that's our general formula. So now we can find the first three terms. 
T1 is obviously A, which is 4. But let's just prove it. Let's just say we were finding T1. If I substitute 1, I will have 2 times 1, which is 2, plus 2 is 4. So my first, uh, the value of the first term is 4. Then let me substitute the second term. So if I say uh, T2, so that's going to be 2 into 2 plus 2. So this is going to be 4 plus 2, which is 6. So that gives me a 6. And then if I substitute 3, then this is going to give me 2 times 3 is 6 plus 2 is 8. So there, I found my first three terms. So remember, whenever they give you only this type of information, and it's more likely to come out in prelims, they like this question. So they might tell you that the third term is equal to 8 and the fifth term is equal to 12. All you do is you substitute it into this information. Then you have two equations. Then you solve for the two equations. And just before I continue, uh, and which is in another level, don't forget to like the video and please subscribe to my channel. And if you've got a question or you want me to create a certain type of video, please comment on the section below. Here is the second level. So they said the, sec they said the second term of an arithmetic sequence. All right, uh, let me repeat it again. So they said the second term of an arithmetic pattern is 6 and the sum of the third and fourth term is 18. Right, so they just told you that the second term of the arithmetic pattern is 6 and the sum of the third and fourth term is 18. And trust me, this is higher than what usually comes out in the exam. It might come out, you might never know. Matter of fact, I've seen it in prelims. It actually does come out in prelims. So this is what I call level 2 of simultaneous equations. So level 1 is easy, level 2, they give you to in this form whereby they say uh, they give you they gave you the second term as six and they tell you that the sum of the third and fourth is eighteen. So what do you do with this information? What you'll do is the second term is six, so it just means t two is equals to six. The sum of the third and fourth is eighteen, meaning t three plus t four is eighteen. That's what you do. So if they say the sum of the third and fourth is eighteen. That's what you do. You you translate it like that. So, uh, and we know the general formula is T n is equals to a plus n minus one d, right? So let's translate this into that information. So then that will become a plus six, right? So six minus one d, because our n is six. They just told, okay, it's not six. I mean, it's two. They told us that the second term is uh, is two. So then we have. 6 is equals to a, 2 minus 1 is 1, so there's no need for me to write 1 there. I can just say uh, d, so that's what I have. And then the sum of the third and fourth, so now I have to also translate this into this information. So what do I do? I know that t3 can instead be written as um, our t3, which is, okay, let me, let me translate it here so that you don't get confused. So t3, we're not given the value of t3. So T3 is equals to A plus 3 minus 1D. So it becomes A plus 2D, right? That is our T3. So this is what we'll substitute in place of T3. But before that, let me just find T4 to avoid all confusions. So T4, was, uh, let's translate it. They were not given the value of T4, so T4 will remain T4. So it's A plus 4 minus 1D. So it becomes a plus 3d. So that's our t4. So you see that. So our t3 is this stuff. Our t4 is this stuff. So we know t3 and t4 now. Our t3 is this stuff. So that's what I'm going to substitute. So it's a plus 2d. That's what that's what we got. t3 is equal to this. Then t4, right? t4 is equal to this. So it means plus. So instead of me writing t4, I'll write that. So it's a plus 3d equals to 18 so that's what i did whenever you have this type of information all you have to do is to translate them into this so you'll translate this into this translate this into this and just substitute them you just replace them so that's what we have there so now this is going to become 2a because a plus a is 2a 2d plus 3d is um 5d so that's what we have so now we have our second equation so we have this equation and we have got this equation so now I'm going to call this equation 1. I'm going to call that one equation 2. So let me use the substitution method. Let me just, in fact, write this here. So this was 2a plus 5d equals to 18. So that's number 2. Okay, so now let me create my third equation. My third equation, I'm going to create it by uh, making this the subject of the formula. So then it's going to become 6 minus d is equals to a. 
that is gonna be my equation three so then I'm gonna say substitute equation three into the unmanipulated one which is equation two so oh it means wherever I see a I'm gonna replace it with this so you see I see a there of course so I'm gonna replace it with six minus d then plus five d equals to eighteen so then this becomes 2 times 6, which is 12. Then 2 times minus d is 2, minus 2d plus 5d equals to 18. Then minus 2 plus 5 is 3d. Okay, let me take this to the other side so that it can become 18 minus 12. So I'll have 3d is equals to 18 minus 12, which is 6. If I divide both sides, I'll be left with d is equals to 2. So there we have it. We got our D. Now let's get our A. So by substituting into any one of the three equations. So let me substitute it into equation 3 since it's usually the easiest one. So I'm going to say 6 minus our D was 2. So I'm going to say 2 is equal to A. Right? That's what I'm doing. I'm substituting here. So 6 minus 2 A. Right? So um, this our A is going to be equal to 4. And then we have it again. So now we have our A which is 4 and our D which is 2. And if they ask us to find the first three terms, we'll do what we did before, right? So we now have our A and our D, right? So our A, which is our 4, so Tn is equals to 4, then n minus 1, ah, okay, that's going to be plus. So n minus 1, then our D is um, 2. So it's going to give us the same equation as the previous. I purposefully did it. So it's going to be 2n minus 2, then we're going to have... 2n plus 2 as our formula the same as the previous so when you find the first three terms it will be the same as the previous all right so i deliberately did it because this ah uh, this is just a small thing all right so let me go to another level and here comes another level the biggie but of course it's not difficult so what do we do here so we're given that the second term of an arithmetic pattern is six and the fifth term is two more than the fourth term. When they say it's two more than the fourth term, um, how do we translate this information? For instance, if they say A is two more than B, it means A is equals to B plus two, you see? So it means B needs to gain two extra things to be equals to A, right? So A is two more than B. Or we can even translate like this. If they say A is two more than B, we can say A minus B is equals to two. So, for instance, 10 is 2 more than 8 because 10 minus 8 is 2, right? So, when they say, for example, if, if x is 3 more than y, it just means x minus y is equals to 3, right? So, that's how it is. So, for instance, 10 is 3 more than 7 because 10 minus 7 is 3. That's how you translate this word problem, right? So, when they say something is 2 more than the other, it just means that thing minus the other one is equal to 2, right? So, they say the fifth term is 2 more than the fourth term. So, it means T5 minus T3. Ah, my, uh, 2 more than the fourth term. So, T5 minus T4 is 2, right? The fifth term is 2 more than the fourth term term so that's just what it means so what do we do here so of course this you know how to translate it by now the second term of the pattern is equal to six so it just means t2 is equal to six and then now uh, we have these two stuff and we have to substitute it into this formula tn is equals to a plus n uh okay a plus n minus one d uh minus one d all right so what do we do from here and if if let's just say you want uh you want uh, to be tutored online personally or you want to be tutored physically personally you can also um comment then i will respond all right so let's say we have something like this so what do we do? Let's translate the information. So of course 6 is equals to a plus our n which is 2. So it's 2 minus 1 d. So 6 is equals to a plus 2 minus 1 is 1. So there's no need for me to write 1 d. So it just becomes a plus d. Now I have to translate this information again using this thing. So of course uh, our t5 is equals to a plus 5 minus 1 d. Right? So it means it's a plus for d that's our t5 and then t4 when i substitute it into that formula t4 is equals to a plus 4 minus 1 
3D. So it means T4 is equals to A plus 3D. So now I can substitute this thing into that. So it means uh, T5, you can actually do it straight. You can just say, oh, T5 is equals to um, this stuff. But I'm doing it separately to avoid confusions. So now I'm going to substitute. So I know my T5, right? T5 is equals, to, um, is equals to this thing, right? T5 is equals to this thing. It means wherever I say T5, I can put that. So that's what I'm going to do. So it means A plus 4D, right? Then minus our T4, which is this stuff. But I have to put it in brackets because it's two terms. So it means A plus 3D equals to 2. So please remember, every time you have got two terms and there's a minus, put it in brackets. So now we're going to have A plus 4D minus. So this was A plus 3D. So this becomes minus A minus 3D equals to 2. Then of course, this, wow, this A is actually cancelled. That's funny. And then I'm going to have 4D minus 3d equals to 2. 4d minus 3d is actually d. So I got my d. I didn't even need to use simultaneous equation. In some other cases, we have to use simultaneous equations where we have got... Uh, this could have simplified to an equation. We could have had one equation here, and we we're going to use this as the other equation. Then we're going to just solve simultaneously as usual. And if you don't understand this, uh, comment below, then I will know what to do. So... We already got our D, right? So we can just easily get our A. So our A is equals to, so um, our D was was 2, right? So that's our D, so it's 2. So when I take this to the other side, 6 minus 2 equals to A. And then that's 4 equals to A. So there we have it. A is 4, D is 2, right? It's the same equation. I manipulated the, I manipulated the question for the patterns again. So obviously Tn is equals to our A, which is 4, plus N minus 1, our D, which is 2. And of course, we'll end up having 2N plus 2 as the answer. So we can find our first three terms if they ask for it. So remember how to translate this thing. If they say the second term is something or the fifth term is something, you already know what to do. If they say the fifth term is two more than the fourth term, it just means T5 minus T4 is equal to two. Or if they say uh, the second term is 10, or, or, or rather, let's say um, the third term is 10 more than the second term, it just means T3 minus T2 is 10. Right, so these are mathematical languages. If they say the sum of the fifth term and the sixth term is two, it just means t. Uh, if they say t five, if they say the sum of the fifth term and let's just say the seventh term is two, it just means t five plus t seven is two. Right, sum means addition. Right, so that's what we have. So don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel. And if you want uh, any online tutors or if you want to be tutored online or you want a physical tutor, just uh, comment below. And matter of fact, um, on my page, what I put there contains the numbers. So you can even contact, you can WhatsApp that number. See you on the next video. Thanks for watching.